Hey everybody, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series figure review. We've got Clone Commander Jesse, my long-awaited friend. <laughs> this dude is, you know, he's got my name, man. Like, he's he, he's my favourite clone. I want to get his helmet tattooed on me at some point. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get this figure. I do have a custom, I do have a custom Phase 1 and Phase 2. Um which if I haven't shown on my YouTube, I sure will someday. Um, can't get to them right now, because everything's in storage here in my room. It's not a way I can get to it. It's just a difficult challenge trying to dig through tubs. But yeah, Clone Commander Jesse, um, hard fighting patriot. Jesse proudly wears the cog-shaped symbol of the Galactic Republic on his helmet, but after the execution of Order 66, Jesse displays blind loyalty to the Emperor. He's just a good soldier. That's what he's. That's what he is. Um, so yeah, many are talking about the the slight error with the helmet. So they've just gone and reused the typical Arc Trooper helmet um, with with the rangefinder, and he has the sort of the bigger fin on the back, uh, which you know Arc Trooper Fives has used, um, and all the other Arc Troopers in the th three and three quarter inch line. Uh, you can't really see it on there because the artist is sort of almost painted it round the way it should be I'm not sure if you can see that there but yeah it's meant to be more of without the rangefinder it's just almost um, just a standard phase 2 helmet just he's just added more blue paint to it um, so yeah definitely wanted to run through I did do a little bit of customizing um, when I went up after I picked this one up just I need my boy looking looking like he's legit you know none of this sort of half-assed you know arc trooper helmet business because that's just not how he rolls he's uh that's not how i roll and that's not how he rolls so we're going to talk about arc trooper jesse as you can see in front of you he has no rangefinder i'm going to zoom in just a little bit here without losing focus that seems to be okay i hope that's nice and clear for you but yeah, no, he's a awesome, awesome addition. Um, I can't wait to get the rest of my clones out. My 501st, uh, Arc Trooper Echo. Uh, Fives is on the way. We've got Captain Rex. Yeah, got a few 501st boys now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at the rest of the figure, and then I'll explain what I do with the helmet. See, so yeah, a really great likeness there. Um, yeah, I love that. Love the way the Republic cog is sort of printed on his head, or tattooed. Um, yeah, definitely got the got the Tem Tem head. I don't think they reused Boba Fett's head because, from my memory, Boba Fett had some um, scarring and stuff um, molded into the head sculpt. So, as far as I know, I, it's been a little while since I looked at the Boba Fett. Maybe it was just paint, um, so they get away with this one. If that's the case, otherwise, you know, a nice sort of clean, clean Tim Morrison head. Looks really good. I know there's other few other sm just small details that are sort of inaccurate, but as, once the helmet's fixed for me, that's that's all good. Um, he does have one trigger figure on that hand, the other hand didn't, so I also took a little exacto knife. A razor blade and actually sliced in the finger there so you can get that trigger figure into the blaster so that was nice I'm glad I'm glad that worked out nice and easy I've done that in the past with other clones you know you give them two blasters but you can only have one hand holding them correctly it just looks a little bit wacky when they when it's not being held properly but not a big deal See a great sculpt on this one I'm glad they're getting some use out of the Arc Trooper mold, especially in TV, TVC, excuse me. Especially in TVC, that's uh, getting a nice range of nice range of characters in the Arc Troopers. And uh, yeah, Black Series is definitely going the going the same way. Definitely some more just sort of standard clones would be would be nice too. But yeah, let's get a look at this helmet. I'll just stand him over there. So hopefully this is nice and clear. 
So I'm pretty sure they did it with the uh, three and three quarter inch one too, which is one I haven't gone and corrected. Um, whether I do yet to be seen, I can't remember if they even did it wrong. But anyway, so basically what I did, popped the rangefinder out and I actually put it inside the helmet. I snipped off the excess and just popped that stud back through the peg, back through the hole. Um, so I remember the three and three quarter one having that and I did something similar. Um, and then all I did was where that little peg pops in, just colored in black. Well, I actually put it black and then I put it through. So, you know, it's pretty damn close. You know, it's square on that side where the little black cert, black bit is there on the circle. Um, but yeah, it, it's much tidier than the range finder. And then basically what I did is with the fin is, uh, you know, I kept the top and then I just, I just sort of sliced that wedge out along the skirt of the helmet, along the, you know, shape of the helmet. And then right underneath that sort of, that sort of groove top layer. And you can sort of see it's not perfect the way it sits. There's a little bit of a lump in there, but just sort of glued it down. Um, yeah, with, with, a, with a good setup and a bit of a nicer table, you can probably make that look a little bit cleaner. Um, with those sort of, I didn't do it a rush job or anything. It was just, it was fiddly work. I didn't want to overdo it. Didn't want to slice too much. So I got it to a point where I'm pretty damn happy. Um, you know, a little bit of hot water or something. Boiling water just to sort of push that flat might actually help that a little bit too. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm very happy with the outcome. And to have Jesse in Black Series is awesome. So I uh, yeah, we'll keep one one in the package because uh, yeah, I've got my Hot Toys Jesse as well, so that'll go on display. And I got an extra one of the TVC ones, so all three of them will go on display together. So you're very happy about that. That's just it's just a cool thing, I don't know, it's just a cool thing to have a have a character in in Star Wars with the same name. It's spelt the same too. J E W S E you know he ended up being quite a quite a rich character at the end of uh the siege of mandalore and at the end of the clone wars you know quite important part to play and uh you know given the republic symbol on his helmet i feel you know it was very much you know a symbolic thing towards the end uh you know where jesse's death um you know sort of signaled the death of the republic at the same time the rise of the empire you know shortly Shortly after all the troopers' helmets were laid out, and Jesse's was on the, Jesse's helmet was out on the spike. Um, you know, it was wasn't long until Imperial troops were marching in over the uh, over the top to uh, swear in the Empire, basically as a symbolic visual. At that in that last episode, that's that's just my little my little take on it. But yeah, I love having this guy in the collection. Like I said. I like all the extra blue on the helmet. I think it looks really, really cool. All the other sort of chips and weathering on the on the rest of the paint. You know, he's been through some, been through some battles. So thanks very much for checking it out. I hope you know the little mod to the helmet inspires you to give something a try as well. You know, give the give these things a go. It's not, it's not too bad. You just gotta be careful. Take your time. Don't rush it. Otherwise, you will cut too much off, or paint too much, or do something. Do something you might stuff up the figure. So yeah, it's definitely definitely gotta have a little bit of bravery, I think, especially with the price of these things now. There we have it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on another video real soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.